it's not, this isn't a study and this isn't even anecdotal. This is reality. I actually well, see reality. The need for fiber in human diets is a complete fallacy. All carbohydrates are non-essential. Fiber is the carbohydrate portion of the plant that's indigestible. So that's going to potentially cause inflammation as well as block nutrients and will also exacerbate constipation. When you eat fiber, you simply add fiber to your stool. So we have soluble and insoluble fibers. The soluble fibers obviously do dissolve within our body's fluids, but is very poorly absorbed and it isn't until it gets to the colon where bacterial fermentation takes place and gives off lots of methane gas. And so that can make you feel um, uncomfortable, bloated. And actually the methane gas has been shown to exacerbate constipation. So kind of the opposite for what we're going for when we consume fiber. And then the insoluble fiber, cellulose, which is completely indigestible for humans. We are absolutely not capable of breaking it down whatsoever. I we consume it, goes through the digestive tract into the colon, where once again, it's only partially fermented by the bacteria in our gut. This gives off gas like hydrogen and can cause more discomfort and bloating. This bacterial fermentation process is supposed to be the very benefit we're supposed to derive from consuming fiber because we generate short chain fatty acids during this process and those short chain fatty acids are converted into ketones and can therefore nourish the cells that line the colon being the colonocytes. Well, if it takes the short chain fatty acids to convert into ketones before nourishing the cells, well, what about nutritional ketosis? We derive the exact same benefit from being in nutritional ketosis, except for it's better. The ketones are in circulation in our blood. Every colonocyte will benefit from nourishment, but when we consume fiber, that is not the case. We also generate more short chain fatty acids while in nutritional ketosis. So the, the argument can be made from both sides. So if you could, I'm asking just one thing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like the video um, and drop a comment. I just want to try and push this message as far and wide as possible because I just want to help. You know, every time you guys watch and you like, that's what makes my videos relevant. If nobody watches them, I can make the best videos in the world. They're not going to do anything, not going to help anyone. So it's a team effort. We're all in this together. So anyway. So it's non-essential, it's not nutrient, it exacerbates constipation because it's indigestible. It causes both methane and hydrogen gas buildup, discomfort and bloating. The methane therefore also exacerbates constipation, this has been shown, and actually it doesn't produce the level of short chain fatty acids that nutritional ketosis can. So I'm struggling here. If anyone can, <laughs> if anyone can uh, persuade me that there is a benefit of consuming fiber, feel free to drop it in the comments. If you're talking about optimal health, well, we can skip all this unnecessary inflammation, this, this inappropriate stress on the body, and we can just stick to red meat, eggs, butter, fish, dairy moderation, if you're happy to do dairy, and you're gonna benefit far greater than those who are trying to address their gut health by consuming or over-consuming fiber. If you're having issues on a carnivore diet, for example, I would just encourage that you increase fat. That's all we need. And